Let us see the next question. Explain Markovitz model without risk free security. That is a question. So we are required to give explanation of the Markovitz model if at all there are no risk free security in the market. Now giving explanation of the same and for that, so I am taking some examples, I am taking some like the help of say a few values. First of all, my question to all of you is that let us assume that say, there are two securities in the market X and Y. Return of both securities are 10% and 20%. Risk that is standard deviation is let us say 8% and over here it is 24%. Correlation coefficient between both of them is 0.75. Now my question to all of you is this, listen me carefully, that I want you to answer in the chat box, how many combinations are possible for security x and y in a way that say uh, i just give you some example an investor is making investment 10 percent in x and 90 percent in y then 20 in x and 80 in y 30 70 40 60 50 50 and so on like that my question is that say how many combinations are possible with so the like security x and y Friends, over here the answer is that say, there are n number of combinations possible, infinite number of combinations. See what happens that say you can make investment as what I just told you like 10, 90, 20, 80 and so on. Then 199, 298, 397 and so on. 0.5, 99.5, 0.6, 99.4, 0.3, 99.7 like that's in a fraction you can make investment so 0 0.005 and remaining 0 0.008 and remaining like that say there are n number of possible combinations that we have say for security x and y combination now if at all we take all these combinations together then in that case say we can have some kind of diagram like this Again on x-axis I am taking standard deviation and on y-axis I am taking the return. What will happen that will be say number of combinations that say we will have. Number of combinations. Now what does each of the point is indicating? Each of the point is indicating that in certain proportion you have invested in x and in certain proportion you have invested in y. You have made investment in x and y in certain proportion. That is what so we understand is what so the combination of x and y is indicating. So we understand that so there are infinite number of combinations which are possible. Now listen me carefully what I am going to speak further. If at all we take say the help of computer say to plot all of them so in a graph paper then in that case say we will have so a kind of uh, like feasible region like this what do we understand with the term feasible region it means that these are the possible options that we have for investment that is what we understand is the feasible region Okay. So here again on x axis it is standard deviation and on y axis it is a return. Listen me carefully. All these are the points which are included say in this diagram along with the border lines. And 
and that is what we understand say is given a technical name as a feasible region this is what say we understand is feasible region feasible region stands for the possible investment opportunity including these borderlands that is what we understand let us have further understanding now in this feasible region i am plotting a few portfolios in this feasible region i am plotting a few portfolios friends if at all we take help of computer then in that case we will be able to find it again on x axis it is standard deviation and on y axis we have the return listen me carefully what i am going to speak see this is the portfolio a this is the portfolio b this is the portfolio c this is the portfolio d this is e and this is f let us give name of a few portfolios in so this like all the feasible region i give name of that is two of few portfolios my question is that as an investor you would like to make investment in portfolio b or portfolio f in which portfolio you would like to make investment please write your answer in the chat box write your answer along with the reason we understand that as an investor i would like to make investment in b instead of f because for the same risk B is able to give the more return. My next question is: As an investor, you would like to make investment in portfolio C or portfolio E? I want you to tell me, along with the reason. We understand that sir, as an investor, I would like to make investment in C instead of E. Why? because c is able to give the same return with lower standard deviation so based on this we can say that all these portfolios are considered to be inefficient all these portfolios are considered to be inefficient why because say any of the portfolio like this will be considered inefficient like this will be considered inefficient we understand that so over here as an investor i would like to make investment in b instead of f or any portfolio which is lying on bf why because the b is able to give the highest return for the same level of risk c is better than e or any portfolio which is lying on c why because the c is able to give the same return with the lowest risk like this friends if at all so you make a comparison you will definitely find that say the portfolios which are lying on this line uh, we can say that so over here it is a b c and d so they are efficient that is all efficient portfolios are lying over there in comparison to say all these portfolios this is what we understand now based on the discussion that we have made so far we can say something like this that all efficient portfolios are lying on efficient frontier this is given a technical name as a efficient frontier we understand that term efficient frontier as like uh this is the line on which all efficient portfolios are lying 
in which we understand that depending upon the risk bearing capacity of the investor investor will make investment on any of the portfolio so which is lying on the efficient frontier that is what we understand and this is what's so the markovitz model so without risk free security you can see that at this point of time the risk free security is not introduced say in this entire discussion at this point of time we understand that say an investor should make investment in say one of the portfolio which is lying on the efficient frontier based on the risk bearing capacity that the investor has if at all the risk bearing capacity of the investor is more then in that case he will make investment somewhere here if at all he is conservative then in that case he will make investment over here what will happen if at all there is risk free security that we are going to see slightly later on so now let us write answer for the question try to have understanding while writing answer first point if there is no risk free security in the market comma in that case as per markovitz model comma there is a concept of efficient frontier full stop second point efficient frontier is consisting of all efficient investment opportunity comma in which an investor would like to invest based on his risk bearing capacity full stop with paragraph write down an investment opportunity is considered to be efficient if a there is no other investment in market offering same return with lower standard deviation second there is no other investment having 
higher return for same risk. Same there is no other investment with lower risk with higher return this is what we understand third point combination of two securities can have infinite possible combinations good stuff plotting all of them will have following diagram I request you to draw that that is diagram that will be helpful to you to understand the theory on x axis it is standard deviation and y axis it is return so these are the possible risk and return now next based on this we will have the feasible region if at all we use computer then in that case we will find this kind of diagram this is what we understand is called feasible region feasible region stands for available investment opportunities in the market so let us with paragraph feasible region means possible investment opportunity in market next this is the important diagram it is a straight line and again this is a straight line this is portfolio a this is portfolio b this is portfolio c this is d this is e and this is f this is risk and this is return 
this is what say, we understand is the diagram. Now in that, so now we will write the explanation that B is better than F, C is better than E, and that is the way we are going to eliminate the inefficient investment opportunities and we will end up with the efficient frontier. Right on the diagram. Portfolio F is an inefficient portfolio comma with that all, all portfolios lying on BF are inefficient because B has more return for same risk. Good stuff. C portfolio is an efficient portfolio. in comparison to E or any portfolio lying on CE it is because C has lower risk for same return. Full stop. With paragraph like that is write down like this. We can eliminate all inefficient portfolios and we will end up with efficient port that is efficient frontier full stop so this is given a name as efficient frontier On x axis we take a risk and on y axis we take the return. This is the way we have the efficient frontier. It will be slightly curved like this. So small summary of the working that we have done so far. There are two securities, for both of them the return and risk is there and along with that so the correlation coefficient have been given to us. First of all I told you, that is I asked to you that say how many combinations are possible. We have understood that say there are infinite number of combinations possible say for two securities. 
if at all we plot all of them on a that is a diagram then in that case we will have say a kind of diagram like the broken egg shaped diagram that we will have for this feasible region now from all these like the portfolios we can eliminate the inefficient portfolios and uh, say we can end up with the efficient portfolios which are lying on the efficient frontier once we come to the efficient frontier then in that case we understand an investor will make investment in one of the portfolio lying on the efficient frontier depending upon the risk bearing capacity that the investor has so right now the final conclusion based on above working comma we can say that an investor will invest in one of the portfolio lying on efficient frontier depending upon risk bearing capacity of investor full stop